You know, we talk about artificial intelligence and <laughs> I mean, hey, this is one of those things. It's like when you were a kid, right? In seventies and eighties and you, they talked about artificial intelligence and robots and all that kind of stuff. And it was, you know, the Terminator and all this kind of stuff. But are these, is it going to help us or is it going to hinder us? Like, what are, what, what are your thoughts, Jeff? Sure. Whenever you say those two words or even mention those two letters, there's always going to be that initial fear uh, or you know, uncertainty. Uh, just because we were programmed at such a young age that, you know, the Terminator is going to g come get us or Skynet's always watching us and they're going to be self-aware. Uh, so it's, it's, it's quite intimidating. But, um, you know, I, I think that... You know, as far as artificial intelligence and the tools that are available to us, I, it, it's it's coming, and you can you can kind of, you know, pretend it's not, and you can say, hey, I'm not going to use it, but it's going to be here. You know, one of the things that uh, it, it that we just have to remember is that if we don't adapt, if we don't change, we're going to be left behind. And so, uh, you know, I'll I'll tell a quick funny story uh, at NACA earlier this year, uh, NACA 2024. You know, I attended a uh, a training session. I really for forget the gentleman's name, but it was about technology tools and all the the different cameras that are out there. And we, we got on some tools that um, you can basically download the application and simply just take photographs around the room. And just based off of those photographs, it's, we're able to get a measurement report and also a list of uh, materials needed to to make that repair to that room. It's gonna identify the carpet, uh, the type of walls, the type of ceilings, even the furniture that's in it. And I remember there was a gentleman that sat right in front of me and he, he was a field adjuster. He pounded his fist on the, on the desk and basically stated to the instructor that uh, looks like we're all being replaced. And the instructor basically agreed. He's like, yeah, we're, we're gonna be replaced by technology. We're gonna, you know, we're, we're going to rely on the, the customer to just take our photographs and, you know, pretty much AI is going to write the estimate. And there was a lot of mumbling and grumbling around the room. Like, why are we even here? Why are we even attending NACA when we're going to be replaced? And uh, I, I raised my hand and I, I, I disagreed. I, I basically told the instructor, I said, yeah, these tools are coming, but they'll never replace us. And they're like, what do you mean that won't replace us? Well, let's look at the at the customer. Let's look at the policyholder. You know, what do they pay for? They pay for peace of mind. They pay a lot of money for someone to take care of them when something bad happens. I said, you know, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger is not going to do that. You know, no one's going to feel, you know, like they're in good hands with AI, you know, or are, are you a, you know, AI is a good neighbor. No, they're, they're not. They want real. They want genuine. Right. And so I, I said, you know, I do believe that we're kind of at a cross, crossroads in this industry where we have to do better in the customer experience realm. Because if we don't, if we fail at ignoring the customer, because by the way, that's the number one complaint uh, that policyholders give uh, during the, the feedback. Um, if we stop setting the right expectations and we don't fully explain the role of the policy, if we don't discuss this, the estimate in detail and, and discuss the supplemental process, we will basically force this industry to go fully automated. You know, hey, just estimate off of photographs. So we yeah. want to be good adjusters. We've got to be good people that is there to really deliver the promise. And that is the promise of the indemnity. And so uh, these tools, these AI tools, these technology tools, we have to embrace because these tools are going to help us be one, more accurate, and they're gonna save us a lot of time. It's gonna improve our efficiency. And so the time that we're saving needs to be reinvested back to the customer. You know, we're not gonna close twice as many claims because of these technology tools, even though we can, but I think if we do it right, I think the customers would appreciate us spending more time with them, making sure that one, they're okay, and that they fully understand our role and, and that we're here to help, so. I think we need to embrace it.
Yeah. No, I mean, I, and in a way, I mean, we don't really have a choice because it's the, that train's going to keep moving along whether we like it or not. If you're a brand new adjuster working for a major IA firm, you will most likely already be covered under a blanket errors and emissions policy. You probably already pay something like 5 or $10 per claim for this coverage. And what is errors and emissions? Well, if you're accused of messing something up on a claim, your E and O insurance will step in and help you out. But what if you cause damage or injury on a field inspection? For example, your ladder falls down and smashes the insured's brand new Ford F-150 Lightning. Then a general liability policy will cover you in that instance. Again, you likely have a little bit of protection to your IA firm as a newbie adjuster. However, if you've got a year or two under your belt and you make most or all of your annual income from claims work, then you owe it to yourself to upgrade your e &O and general liability coverages to be customized to you. And depending on how many claims you run in a year, there's a very good chance these policies will be cheaper for you with your own coverages. Better and cheaper? Sign me up. There's only one company that provides e and and general liability solely to the insurance industry, and that is CPLIC, aka Kaplik. They even have drone and cyber coverages. Download the free guide all about the different kinds of insurance you as the adjuster should carry at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. And with more than 700 videos, there's plenty more to watch here on adjuster TV. Don't know where to start? Just go to my videos page here on YouTube and type in a search term right here to find an answer to almost any question you have about property claims handling. And we'll see you in the next one.